fucking blouse. This really just my life. Like, I really deserve this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> Y'all got 30 seconds to figure out how to pop this hood before this nigga think I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm not poor. <laughs> Do I have a struggle kink or something? Like. <laughs> It's a bear in there. Help me. Oil. Mm -hmm. Corn oil. Uh -huh. Throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Oh. And um, at the airport, I'm starving, okay? I was supposed to edit on the way here, but it was like a three hour drive from here to the airport and it was real windy, real bumpy, real motion sicknessy. So I didn't edit it, okay? Hey, sh get edited. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I really, really, really hate traveling my period, y'all. I don't know if these people gave me some like low ass, non-chemical tampons, but low key, I might need the chemicals because I'm just like crazy. Like, what the This don't make no sense. Get some food and then uh, check in. I'm, I might miss my flight on the way back, like my flight to Norfolk. I don't know, we'll see. This is a lot. Okay, so I've landed back in Virginia. Now, welcome to the shit show starring Jayla. I'm your host. Um, uh, Get off the airplane. First of all, United put me on this little teeny ass putt putt. I don't even know how they play with me like that. Put me on his little teeny putt putt. Then I'm waiting at the little bag thing. I got my carry on that I had to check, but I'm looking. I don't see my other bags, which was, you know, what I'm saying, I don't know, a hundred pounds, maybe all together. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't there. So I go to check my app, and it's like your bags on another flight. How did they get there, guys? I have a Drewski concert. I'm going to the Drewski tour. Um at six o'clock and it's two o'clock and uh they said they're gonna be here at 4 15 so like <sighs> what i need my makeup i need my hair i need a lot of stuff in that bag friends and y'all just got it and just decided that, that y'all was gonna just you know what i'm saying whatever anyway my trip was absolutely amazing like oh i'm on cloud now like sometimes he said i meant to fill your wallet before you left but i didn't get a chance so i just filled your account <laughs> I be like, bro, bro, sometimes I be like, what I do to deserve this? And then like, I ain't do it. Like, it's just me. Like, life just really this sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, just really just my life. Like, I really deserve this shit. You know what I'm saying? Love that for me. Love that for me. Love that for us. I think the cat's out the bag. I'm in love. <laughs> and for real this time. You know what I'm saying? Not that bullshit. I was, you know what I'm saying? Being delusional about the first time. Fuck that shit. This time's for real. <sighs> This look like a person. I don't want a person. I want a kiosk. <sighs> Give me a kiosk, friends. I mean, I don't want a kiosk. I want me a, a little, yeah. Okay. So, I need a skirt for my outfit for tonight. Uh, insert parking ticket. Where's my, I left my phone. Where I wasn't supposed to leave that shit. $55. My phone with the memory on it. Mind you, they both 512 gigabytes. Come on, y'all. It's not supposed to take this long. Not successful. How you gonna tell me? <laughs> How y'all gonna tell me? Like what? There we go. Alright. I left my other cell phone, the one that got memory on it. So that's great too, also. Um, but yeah, let's go to the mall to see if we can find me a little mini skirt. Mini skirts are hard to find, especially in Norfolk where there's absolutely nothing here. So we're gonna see about it. I don't know what tonight, how tonight is gonna be. Lord knows, oh, I miss my baby. Okay, like being a single mom is crazy because I've been this as long as I've been away from my baby in a long time. And I miss him. I'm not sitting to see him in a rush to get back to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he's in good hands. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> I'm using great hands. I'm really not in a rush, you know? <laughs> I'm enjoying my time while I can, okay? Because the thing about missing your kids is that literally within the like, first five minutes of like, you being back with them, they remind you of like why the fuck you was ready to leave in the first place. So that's just some real shit for you. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go to the mall. Friends, I really love being me sometimes. I ran into a subscriber at Forever 21. Hey girl, by the way, I know you watching. But I asked the girl, the, you know what I'm saying, girl, could she take the skirt off the mannequin for me? Cause I needed it tonight and that was the last one. And she was like, I can't take things off the mannequin. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And so my plan B was to ask the girl at the register. And the girl at the register just so happened, you know what I'm saying? She called with me, so she's like, I got, I got my skirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's really good to be me so fast. I'm finished at the mall. I went and stopped at Sephora, Forever 21, and H&M. So hopefully I got a fit tonight. Hopefully I can make it tonight, girl. It's 3.49, I'm about to make my way back up to the airport to go get my luggage. All right, so um, I missed my exit talking to uh, the social worker for the school, but I made it. It's well, I was supposed to get here for 15, but it's 4.26. Um, I gotta hurry up and go get these bags and then try to get back on my side of the water to beat traffic because, uh, I'm always rushing. Like, this is not even my, yes it is, this is my fault. Because I missed my flight yesterday. But I missed my flight yesterday for a very good reason. So I'm not even mad at that, okay? Remember, Jayla, you in level one, you come down these doors, in your parking garage, A. Let me take a picture of that because I don't have time to get lost. This should be a quick in and out. I'm just sitting up here waiting for my bag. My bag's not coming. Um, and uh, I checked and it's actually just arrived in Washington at four something. So it's not gonna get here till like six something and I'm gonna be gone by that time. So I just need to come my ass home and just make do with what I got, the makeup that I got. And this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Like all my hair products, my good brush, like everything is inside of my luggage and I don't have it. So on my way to the Drewski tour, um, I'm really not feeling these necklaces um, and things and such like that. So I think I might take them off, but um, no cameras, of course. So I will let y'all know how it goes. Um, y'all, it's just a shit show. Like we're gonna be like at least an hour late and I'm not really happy about that. So yeah, but it's my fault because I'm always late because you know, yeah, I don't know. Right. I got on my, um, Skims, uh, Fendi Skims, um, what's the name? Bodysuit, and then I got on a cute mini skirt, and uh, yeah, this is what we're rocking with tonight. Girl, so tell me why we ended up pulling up to the Drewski concert, the Drewski tour. We got in there, I swear to God, we found our seats in a minute and 30 seconds. Later, he says, thank you, Richmond, Virginia, and walks off the stage, and we missed the whole entire show, so. Then I got sick at night, so I just went back home because I was coughing. I couldn't stop. I couldn't even talk without coughing. I got sick, so I just, it was a fail. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another episode of my Jet Mondays. We are on our way to the post office, okay? And then we got to clean this dirty car. <sighs> okay, so actually, uh, what did I say when I get in, when I get in? Oh, cleaning out the car. We gonna clean out the car. No, I'm gonna go get the car detailed. Um, yeah. But I feel like I left my freaking laptop at home. I was gonna do work while I was, you know what I'm saying, there. And now I left my laptop at home. So do I go back and get it? Or do I just, I mean, they do be kind of taking a long time. So maybe I'll just ride past. Hold on, y'all. So I actually just decided on going through the car wash because just stopping to get my car clean was just gonna be way too much. Like the inside, like the inside is not even that bad. Okay, it's it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, so dropped off orders, getting my car wash right now. Y'all, I got a little dilemma. Like we gonna I'm gonna have to do an update about my business, like a business update, because I gotta get a girl's the real. Like I really do, because running a business is not no joke, it's not no hoe. And um, it's definitely not what I thought. Um, I learned a lot about myself throughout this process, so maybe I'll just give y'all a little video about it uh, later on, but 
that's for a later date. What's on the front of my mind right now is that I might be dating a man that's a little bit out of my league or you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's what's happening. Uh, it's something so different about dating a mature man. Um, one thing is, you know, instead of music, they listen to politics. Okay, well this one does, you know. Then on the other hand, I have a dictionary in my phone because he just be saying words that I don't know the meaning to. I've never heard. So I keep a little dictionary in my phone because I find myself looking up new words every day. I like that. Attractive. Um, where I draw the line at is this morning I was getting dressed for Jackson's school meeting. And I didn't really have nothing to wear. So I'm like, I ain't got nothing to wear. Like, you don't have a blouse? Do I have a fucking what? A blouse. No, I don't have no fucking blouse. I got crop tops, bodysuits, sweats, t-shirts. That's it. I don't have no fucking blouse. No. No, I don't. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> like, what did I get myself into? Like, have I bitten off more than I can chew? That made me feel like I was ill-equipped. Like, I'm not adulting the way I should really be adulting. Like, I know you grown, but like, God damn, a blouse? Do y'all have blouses? Am I tripping? Like, please, somebody tell me, because that shit really threw me for a loop. I, I, that might be a bridge too far for me. I'm not going to lie. That might be a little bit too much. We might we might got to see about that. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> whenever I pull up at Target and, like, there's a lot of people, I just get mildly suspicious because, like, do y'all not have day jobs? Ain't nobody here at work. Why ain't nobody at work? Like, for real. It's too many people here. I'm really only coming in here for deodorant and it was something else. Oh, moose. Deodorant and moose. I'm in and out. Y'all hear me? Tomorrow afternoon. Hmm. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Yep, not a problem. Okay. Let me know if that works for you. I'm happy to get you scheduled. Okay? Thank you. Bye bye. So earlier I called for um I called to schedule my to get my headlight fixed while I'm on the phone with her telling her that I need my like you know scheduled appointment she's like oh that's also a recall on your vehicle she's telling me about you know water in the back causing the fuel pump to fail something da 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 I leave Target because I went to the wrong Target so I come to Ulta to come and find something else I mean the oh, fuck I can't even talk I come to Ulta to come find the the pattern beauty mousse, mousse that I'm looking for I come back to my car, my engine's stalling. So I get on Google, do a quick little Google search. My engine is stalling because of the recall on my car. So now we're here. I call for a tow, call my insurance company, call my roadside assistance, call for a tow. They're on their way. In the meantime, in the meantime, I need a car. Nobody has a rental car. There are no rental cars. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, girl, just annoying. The tow truck was on, while the tow truck was on the way, I was gonna, you know what I'm saying? Go get a rental car. There are no rental cars. I only try Enterprise though. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. I wanna do the airport. Got any of them? Let's try. Thank you for calling Avis Budget Group at the airport. This is Jack speaking. I'm out. Hi, Jack. I was just calling to see if you guys had any cars available. I don't have anything available today. Okay. Let's try Hertz. Is this the one at the airport? This gotta be the one at the airport. Let's try Budget. Let's try Enterprise at the airport. For quality assurance, your call for information, press 1, press 3. And found information, press six. This is not what I wanted. Let's try. Thank you for calling Avis Budget Group at the airport. This is Jack speaking. How may I help you? You said this is Avis? Avis and Budget. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Jack. Just spoke to you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Have a good one. You have a good one now. This is not looking good. <laughs> You know what? Don't even worry about it. I'm just going to be Ubering for a little while, but I need a car before tomorrow morning because Jackson has an appointment tomorrow morning at 8.30 that I cannot miss. So, that's that. In the meantime, in between time, I'm right here. Also, I might as well go in here and find something to fix my edges because, baby, mine is well shit. We wait on the tow truck. What the tow truck say? Tow truck say 85 to 115 minutes. All right. My headphone died. That's about it. I'm just not having a good time. <laughs> but I'm about to have a great time. I'm finna take this pocketbook and we going in the old to find me some edge control. You, you, bu you booked me a You already booked it? Why you do that? Are you? <sighs> oh my God. What is this? 
What is this? Curl Smith. What is this? Do they have something? Do y'all have Hydro Style? I don't need no Flexi Jelly. I need some, some thick shit. Where's the thick shit at? I can't believe this. Baby. <laughs> okay. I just said okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would you spend $500? No. <laughs> baby, cancel that. No five. No, baby, why would you do that? For $500? I'm going to have to call you back. I'm going to have to call you back. Baby. How are you? Good, how are you? Are you getting oh, yes, back? I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my mind's all over the place, girl. And then what's a good phone number for you? $500 for, for two days is crazy. No, not for no $500. That's crazy to me. I think the tow truck here. Why the fuck are tow truck drivers so funny? He said, hold on, oh, you got the G jump. So I got from Pattern Beauty, I got the edge brush and I got the Stronghold gel. I got the edge control, but I decided to try the Stronghold gel. I didn't say that, I said GLE. Start it up, see what it do. It just keeps stalling. What's that? It's stalling. It, it cut off while you were driving? No, it just won't come back. I'll park. I'm going to go shopping. And then it, I won't oh, come back. Jump. Out. You think so? Yeah, put your phone on the brake and start it. Try and start it. Put my phone on the brake? Yeah, try and start it. Yeah, you need to jump. Pop the on hood. Okay. How you pop the hood? Oh, shit. How you pop the hood? This is bad. Um, this is not cute. I think you just popped the hood from the front. Y'all got 30 seconds to figure out how to pop this hood before this nigga think I'm dumb. Uh, okay. If I was to pop the hood, if I was some, if I was some place to pop the hood, where would I be? What's your name? Hill. 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 I Hill. I don't know how to pop the hood. <laughs> Go ahead. What the camera for? My job. Oh, okay. Oh. I should figure, I should know what that's at, huh? Yeah, you drive this car. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. The key's right here. Yeah. All right, Hilt came to the rescue. We gonna see about this now. I actually think I got one of those in my trunk. You wanna put my foot on the brake? No, it is that though. But wait, hold up. It is though. Wait. Is that? That's this thing right here that you got. We're back on the road. Um, yeah, we're going to immediately. The man booked me a big fat I can't drive that. That's too big for me to drive. I'm sorry, sweet pea. I can't drive that. He gonna pay, you gonna pay $500 for a car for two days? You're out of your rabbit ass mind. You're crazy. You're crazy. Let me call him back. So I made it to I actually didn't like that gel I bought. Um, yeah, I actually didn't like it. It kind of like didn't mix well with the products already in my hair. But then again, I do need my hair wash. I put on some lip gloss before I go in here and talk to these people. Hello from the bathroom, friends. I don't 
necessarily understand how like y'all be raw dog in life or piece of people in general be raw dog in life like i don't know and i'm kind of like ashamed of the fact that when i do get overwhelmed or stressed out like i do have a coping mechanism but i mean like what am i supposed to do i'm gonna tell y'all what ended up happening so i just came home and uh, i was finishing up my laundry because i just did all my laundry very proud of me and then there was a piece of chocolate inside the washing machine and so then i had to use resolve to try to get all of it out of my white clothes and it like ate up my thumbs and it was just horrible i have like 50 million things to do and uh i'm just i really need to fuck so i don't know today was just strange it was just odd like it just took a turn for i don't know I'm rolling with the punches, but like, goddamn, like, they jump at me, like, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is hard to get. Even like Uber and DoorDash and stuff. I mean, like, DoorDash and Instacart. Can you turn that music down for me just for a second? Good morning, y'all. So, we're in the Uber. Jack's do a pizza. 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 In the Uber. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Um, so we're on our way to Jackson's appointment. I told y'all I was not missing this appointment by any means necessary. So we are here. It is eight o'clock in the morning. And um, yeah, I'm not missing this appointment. We're in the Uber because my rental won't be available until later on today. Um feeling a little bit better from last night. I just had to like completely check out last night, do some deep beaver exercises, girl. I was just out of it. Um, ooh, I just realized I forgot my Adderall, Jax. That's not good. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Bro, oh, my baby got this country flag with him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, we just finished his appointment. It was, like, really quick, like, really simple. It's just, uh, like, a psyche valve. Um, but something happened funny earlier in the Uber that I was just in. And I guess the man tried to have, like, a moment with me. He was, like, he looked up in, like, the rear view. He was, like, oh, you know, you shouldn't be doing this alone. And I'm like, bro, who the fuck is gonna do it? Like, it's okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not poor. <laughs> Everybody is just always treating me like I'm a single mom. I got this damn, you know, I got safety first. I got my baby booster seat, you know. And it just, I know it looks like a struggle, but it's not that bad. Like, I just hate the constant, like, pity that people, you need a tissue? I just hate that yeah. people like constantly pity me. Like it was so like just he tried to make it such a sentimental moment. I'm like, who else is gonna do it? Like what the? F it's okay. It's cool. So update: the house is clean. The house is spotless, baby. Okay, everybody's room is done except for Jackson's. But I'm gonna get to that before he leaves for the night to go be with his nanny. I don't have a car still. Still no car. Uh, I ain't gonna say he bullshit me, but this what it feel like. Um. He talking about, I feel like I let you down. Yeah, you did. You did, bro, for sure. Um, It's cool because I'm going out of town anyway this weekend. So it's really no need for it. I got my package in from Fashion Nova. And I just ordered a couple things from Fashion Nova just because I've been like a mini skirt mood. But it's so hard to find like the perfect mini skirt. So let's try to sh** on. Since you got your degree, think you know everything. <laughs> Little mini Fashion Nova haul. Let's see. Hello. What? Why you coming here ass naked? What's wrong with your drawers? Did you poop? No, I need help. You need help with them on? Did you poop? So what I'm really curious about is I bought these two skirts. I don't know if they're the same skirt and white and in black. When good means yep. Let's try the black on. This is really cute. Like, ah, this is cute. This is a cute little skirt. Skirt's cute, y'all. This is the um, when good meets bad pleated mini skirt. Skirt. It's got built-in shorts. We love that. I got the white one. I'm not even gonna try the white one on. Oh, I already see a fit right here, right now. Wow, ain't that crazy how God works? Hold on. I do gotta put on the white one. So I put on this white skirt with this leather corset top and then we're gonna pair it with this jacket that I wish was a lot thicker 
I gotta get me a real one of these, an authentic one. This is cute. Okay. Okay, this jacket's a little thicker than the other one. Oh, we got Velcro on it. Hate that. Okay. Um. Ah, not my favorite. This is cute. Okay, I like this. I love this denim mini skirt. Very cute. I got this in a medium. Thanks, baby. Told y'all I'm not even gonna take the top out of the packaging because. Ooh, and that is called um looking like me denim skirt set. Oh, is this a blouse? Did I order a blouse? I think I ordered a blouse. I try these pants on first. These are Lily High Rise cargo jeans. Ugh, I don't really like that they're high rise, but we're gonna see about it. Look like I need some Carhartt pants or something for real, for real. Cause that's what they look like. Um, I don't know how I feel about this top. I gotta take the top off. I'm not together, I don't like it together. But I gotta take this my bra off with the top, but I don't feel like it. I like this little cut off blouse moment, I do. Now I have a blouse, but it's still a crop top. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna see about it. I guess later on when I actually put on an outfit to go with it, but we'll see about it. <gasps> Y'all, I finally learned how to turn the filter off. <gasps> I learned how to turn the filter off. It's like I got a new camera. I got a new camera. But this whole time I had this camera, I never knew how to turn the filter off. Love that. Girl, it's 3.28 in the morning. I just finished my video. I just, cause I had to put my clip ins in for the weekend. So, um, I just finished my video. Um, I just finished installing my clip ins. I put my lashes on, everything. Um, I had a question. Would y'all be able to go to sleep if you knew there was a bug on your ceiling? Um, okay, where is he? Can you see him? Where he at? What to do that? What to do? What a motherfucker. At? Would you be able to go to sleep if that guy was like hanging above your head? Would you be able to? I think I'm gonna have no choice but to be able to. So, um, hopefully he'll be okay. Um, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Like, do I have a struggle kink or something? Like, why do I keep doing this to myself, girl? So it's given. I gotta wake up at seven thirty if I really want to. Like, I have to wake up at seven thirty because. I didn't pack a bag at all and everybody knows that like packing the day of your flight is bad luck <laughs> like it just is and um so it's given 7 30 honestly and then i gotta be out the house by like at least 10 30. no let me look at my boarding pass my boarding pass Damn, I just glitched out bad. Um, what am I looking for? Did y'all see that? Oh my God, my mind went to bed. My mind went to sleep. I'm tired. Okay, Delta. Okay, boarding time is at 11.58. So, and departure time is at 12.38. A whole hour? Oh. I'm really so, like, y'all, I really do go to bed. <laughs> Okay, so if, okay, let's just say 12 o'clock. I need an alarm clock. 10.30, leaving at 10.30 is cutting it close. Label, cutting it close. 10 o'clock, let's do 10.15, I'm gonna say. So that way I got two alarms in between. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know if I have like uh, some type of struggle kink or what, why I keep putting myself in these situations. But baby, we gotta do something about it. We gotta do something about it fast. And I hate that my nails not done. Hate that my nails not done. I hate that my nails not done. Anyway, all right, y'all. I'm going to bed. See y'all in the morning. Friends, I made it to the airport. I'm gonna do a little outfit of the day um, after I get through TSA and um, things like that. Y'all gotta show y'all my outfit, okay? I'm real proud of it. So I just, this is the, this is the um, jacket that I got from Fashion Over yesterday. Baby, I put the pink laces in the tracks, okay? This little lace get on my nerves. I put the pink laces in the traps, y'all.
baby, I think, I mean, I was just gonna start on how hard you flexed on me. You flexed on me. I could have did without the flex. It's not you. No, this one's me though. But only, see, only one boyfriend? One. Just one. Only oh. need one. Oh, come only on. need one. Oh, no, you don't. You need a spare. What oh, if he gets sick? What? Oh. He gets a cold. You're right. I you do need a spare. Need a spare one. Yeah. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and where is he now in the bathroom? He's on, he, no, he's on his way to the airport. So we're going to meet each other. I'll be damned. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> So I just got an update from my service advisor, he's, and he sent me an estimate. <laughs> Y'all, this estimate that this man sent me. Is five thousand two hundred and sixty-six dollars and three cents. You was a five thousand dollar lie. You heard me. <laughs> First of all, this is crazy. Take my car off the, the, the little joist. Take it down. Pull it down. Take it down right now. First of all, you trying to get okay? So my headlight, fifty-two dollars. Right. That's it. Um, my battery, five hundred seventy-six dollars. That's not how much batteries cost. Um, brakes, okay, one thousand ten dollars. Absolutely not. No. Um. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. When I was younger, used to hear my father. Front brakes, twelve hundred dollars. Rear brakes, one thousand dollars. Okay. Then there is a um, scheduled maintenance interval um, for Mercedes Benz premium service, um, replace engine oil, filter reset, maintenance service. You know all the like spark plugs, things like that. They are trying to charge me two thousand one hundred and seventy-six dollars for a tune-up. I think it was sales an oil change. The devil works hard, but my brother at Trade Quarters works hard. Take my car off of there right now. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm calling my brother. Justin, they trying to get me, Justin. Mercedes. Help. No, they're trying to get me, Justin, please. Listen, you look nice today. I like the salt and pepper. It's coming in, so it looks excellent. Justin, I'm going to look just like you if you don't help me. Let me tell you. Listen, listen, listen. Brakes, they're trying to charge me for brakes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. $2,251.74. Somebody said just roll the window down and grab onto the car next to you. <laughs> $2,251 for break. Then, so this says oil change, filter re reset, tune up, right? Spark plugs, tune up, right? $2,176. Cause I, and I need a battery too. I need a battery. The battery is $576.02. The grand total is $5,266.03. No, no tip. I'm, I'm trying to shop with you. I'm trying to shop with you, my boy. <laughs> I'm trying to shop with you. <laughs> I'm, mm -mm, I'm trying to put money in the black man pockets. I'm trying to support my people. Mm -mm, I can't do it. I will. Mm -mm. Nope. I will, I will carve out the bottom of that car and use the back of my heels to stop that motherfucker.
Boy, I paid $2,000. Man, I will yabba dabba do that bitch. Don't play with me. That's what. I'm not. I, who said that? Who said that? Who said I was a baller? Yeah, I can see. But, but they don't mean that. <laughs> Let me take. I let her spin. She got the leather pants. I took her out to eat. I took her out to Venus. She always call me Penny, Junkie, Junkie, Dr. Remy. Sometimes I'll call back and down and tip off on the hit. I'm touching down in your city just to get it lit. And check the power up, we in it. Trippy, it a bitty. Hold up, baby, close. Can't get too close. Shoulda been doing the most. Alright, so we just landed. I gotta wait until. I got some work to do. I have a rock and roll. Oh, send us to be going down. Put me in my boat. Oh, I just tell a baby up. Shut it till I come. Go 10 feet down deep. Then I'm here with God. Got the beater out the sheet. You couldn't keep it hard. Niggas pull up to the function with my limit on. They just called me to reschedule with Jackson's appointment from 8 30 to 11 30. Baby, that ain't no problem. Baby, that ain't no problem. <laughs> That sounds excellent. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Oh, it's not enough. Hi, friends. So I checked into the hotel and um, immediately I started editing the video. And then I got distracted because this girl named her baby after me. And like, it's just giving like, well, I got distracted by a lot of things because I think my Adderall is just wearing off, honestly. That's just what I feel like, you know? So I took a shower, you know? What else did I do? Um, but I got that video done, okay? Since everybody wants the details on the hair, I got you. Um, now I can kind of enjoy my weekend a little bit now that that video's done. It's like I got my responsibilities out the way. I got some nails from Target, like Instacarted. Y'all, I cannot find that Pattern Beauty mousse. Like, it's sold out everywhere. That's the only thing about telling people about stuff. Like, then when it's all sold out, it's like, now what I'm supposed to do? Now what I'm supposed to do? I got me a little lemon drop. I was talking about my nails, wasn't I? Yeah. So, I got some nails from Target. They were Instacarted. And, like, they're just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I also got to get, I also have to get my girl Casey a, um, like, congratulatory gift. So, I don't know what I'm feeling like. But I don't know. I don't know what she likes. But we'll find something. We'll figure something out. I gotta go to the mall in the morning. I hate going to the mall in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't even know if I have a complete outfit. Like, I know I got a shirt and pants and a shirt and a, and um and shoes, but I ain't got no jacket with that. And then I bought my skirt and my shirt and my jacket, but I forgot the shoes. It's just all. It's okay. Let's figure it out. My video just exported. I'm about to upload it. Send it to my team so they can send it off. And I'm um, close my laptop for the rest of the night. Period. <laughs> I'm back. It's at 1 o'clock in the morning. I cannot sleep. I can't sleep. So I'm finna find somewhere to hang out and call my homegirl because I miss her. I feel like this hotel that I'm at is jumping and I'm not in a jumping type of like, girl, I don't even got a bra on, okay? But I just need a quiet place to go because I, my room is noisy, okay? It's a bear in there, I think. It's the fitness room. The associates in there having a ball. In this fitness room. Oh, you know what? I seen that girl get attacked in that fitness room. Hell no. Mm -mm. Let's go up. Find somewhere to go. And I don't feel safe in this fitness center. Okay, let's try L. Let's try L. I know she's like, where's this girl at? Like, girl, I'm trying to find some place to go. A lot of hair. It's not a lot of hair, it's perfect. Let's find somewhere to sit. Oh, right over here, nice and cozy, y'all. Hey, girl. Hey, friend. I, had to, I miss you too, girl. I was literally just watching your vlog, like, 
I was just watching a vlog, girl. I had to leave my house. I had to leave my room, girl. It's a bear in there. It's a what? A bear in my room. Oh, nigga. You know I put that puss on him. You know that nigga wouldn't sleep. <laughs> <gasps> no. Let, I didn't even get to tell you. Hold on. Wait, let me get my, my earphones, girl. I'm like... So Your yeah. hair cute as fuck. Thank you, girl. These clip-ins from Curls Queen. I gotta put some more boots and water in it, but yesterday, I'm like, oh yeah, babe, I see you tomorrow. I'm like, you'll see me tomorrow. He was like, yeah, I see you tomorrow. But yeah, he's here. He met me here. And I was just like, okay. Yes. I just finished watching your vlog. I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed like the, like, the real spiritual parts of it. I enjoy like the wholesome mommy parts, like you just with your kids, like how much you interact with, like how much you just play with cash and like your oldest boys, like I just really enjoyed it. It was a good amount of like, it was a good balance of just everything. What y'all doing? Who over there? Oh, uh, so I thought he was, Tim thought that he was a <laughs> I thought you was, that's what, that's what Tatiana had told me, so I thought you was but, well, I appreciate you sharing your Yes. <laughs> that make it even more special. Like, you know? <laughs> Good night. Okay. I'm about to go up here and try to go to sleep. Ooh, what's this? What's in here? What's in here? Oh, fast ice. Do y'all think it's different candies on each floor? I don't want this bullshit with the grandma ass candies. Let's try. Let's go up one more. Let's go up one more. Elevator is coming up. Let's just go up to one floor. Let's just go up one more floor. Let's see if we can find some. Different candies. No, it's just old pocketbook candy everywhere. I want some chocolate. <laughs> Can my ass right down Elevator's going down. So. Your girl got options, okay? Like, all these press on nails and uh, none of them are like perfect, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with these because yeah, it's like the perfect length and the perfect amount of pink. I don't like fat neck French tips. I just don't. I like my French to be very thin, so yeah. Good morning. I had breakfast and a mimosa with a couple sips. I still don't know what I'm going to get her for. Maybe I could go on walking distance for a little gift or something. And let can I just say something real quick? Because somebody tweeted something that kind of like, you know what I'm saying, rubbed me the wrong way a little bit this morning. Ever since I talked about the maintenance on my truck, it's been a lot of people like, that's what I be trying to tell people about luxury cars. That's what I be trying to tell people about them luxury cars. Like, you ain't saying. You're not saying sh mechanics is mechanics. Brakes don't cost two thousand dollars. That's just that. I always wanted to drive a luxury vehicle. I always felt like I deserved to drive a luxury vehicle. I'm not afraid of a luxury vehicle. You could put me in a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar car, and I drive that bitch like any other car. I'm not afraid of luxury brands, and I don't want people to project that sh onto other people. Like, oh, see, this why like. You don't have to try to use me as an example. Like, don't try to, oh, this is why. Like, it's not giving. I just don't like that. You know what I'm saying? As somebody who has been projected onto about me and my luxury vehicle, people thinking I think I'm better. No, you just think that you're less. Sorry. Don't have that mindset, guys. I'm just saying, like, I'm not that person. Like, let's talk. Let's talk. Because we got humble beginnings here, okay? I'm humble beginnings, okay? I want to share with you guys. The first car that I ever had, I was 16 years old, and I got a 94 Acura Integra. It was green. It had green rims. 
the wheels on the back of it was too big for like the car so if anybody sat in my back seat the wheels would rub it was just it was a car you know what i'm saying it was the buttons missing on a little horn part that was my baby she got me from point a to point b back when i was working two jobs in high school i love i love i love that car um the first car that i ever got with my name is actually i ended up having to put that I ended up having to put that Acura in my name because I got pulled over. Yeah, I got pulled over by Booker T High School and uh, the officer took my plates because my daddy put fake tags on my on my plates. The officer took my plates. I had to register the car in my name and that was the first car that I ever had in my name. Then I bought my Everybody said, Jayla, no, don't buy no da 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 I love that car to death. I also got PTSD from that car. Bitch, I mean, every time I would go somewhere, it was just dinging. The maintenance on the bitch was terrible. But not that it was expensive because it wouldn't have been expensive had it been spaced out. It was just mechanically not right. Like, it happened so frequently. Like, my car would break so frequently. I go to my to go get my car service for the headlight. Mind you, the headlight was $47. That's still overpriced. But he was like, oh, and you need a state inspection too. It's been, a, I was like, wow, you said that last time. He was like, yeah, it's been a whole year. It's been a whole year since I had to get maintenance on my car. Like, literally. I got an oil change in between there sometime in between there, maybe one or two. But it's been a whole year. The maintenance on a car is not bad when the car is made properly. Like, it's it's well built. Hold on, y'all. Hello. Ciao. Not me being 30 minutes late. Don't got on no nails. Empty handed, ain't even got a gift for my girl. Like, like not me being 30 minutes to a late, uh, an event that I came here for. Like, it's not the baby, y'all. It's definitely me. I got on a naked wardrobe um, dress. I got on all black. I feel really cute. I look, I look cute. I just hate that my nails are not done. Like, uh, that don't give. Sure? It's the wrong way. I, let me figure out where I'm going. I, I don't know. I it feel like, like everybody's dressed up. Really? Yes. For, uh, maybe I'm, an event? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going right now, to be honest. You're probably going in the. Uh, you probably want to go to the, the drop rooftop. Up. LOA. LOA. Um, you gotta go like up and to the left. It's a long walk. Oh, you just gotta go like up to the left as well. Okay, yeah. just walk this way? Yeah, down and up to the left. Okay, thank you. And I'm in heels, friends. What's going on? So what is the event? Oh, it's my friend's time, but she's launching a brand, so I just came out here to support her. Yeah, you got the video on her. Yeah, yeah, it's life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always nice. I don't know if you've ever been here before. No, I haven't, and I'm 30 minutes late, and I came out here for this. This is nah, ghetto. It's all good. Are you awesome. walking with me so I feel safe? I'm like, well, I'm actually just walking that way, so it's all Oh, good. cool. Perfect, yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so. Perfect. I'm not from here. Where are you from? Virginia. Okay, what part? Norfolk. Okay, I went to school in Norfolk. Where? I went to ODU for a little, like, I went to ODU for a year. For real? Yeah. That's crazy as hell. Why is that? Out of all the f colleges in the world, you went to ODU. ODU was lit. Hell yeah, it is. It was lit. Yeah, I ain't never been. <laughs> what school you went to? I never went to school. <laughs> uh-uh. I never went to school. Need too much Adderall for that. Did you finish? Nah, I, did. I transferred to Temple. Oh. In Philly. Oh, okay. And did you move out there? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah? Exactly. What you doing in Atlanta? Uh, I'm in tech. You a what? I'm in tech. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you heard about that um, bank that just... Silicon Valley Bank. Yeah. So my, my organization, they are It's this way. So where it says LOA? Oh yeah, I see. Okay, yeah. thank you. It's nice to meet you. Wow. I love friendly people. I want them to be on black people time so bad. Why is not going up? The roof. 
I'm trying to get to the roof. I think this elevator is broken. Okay. Hi. Can you help me get to the roof? I think this elevator broken. Well, I'm going up. You going up? Yeah. I just told you you press the damn button. No, because I was trying to go down. But it's, this elevator is going down, so now I feel like I'm in trouble. I just, it's okay. So here's what I'm going to do, because I'm a gentleman. You trying to go? I'm trying to go to the rooftop, but I kept pressing it's the roof fine. and it wouldn't go. That's what it is. Somebody cooled it down. It probably Even didn't work. It's fine. Right so this is going to go up. Right? Okay. So do the rooftop This part, is okay, right? I know it won't go in. Now it's fine. Okay. You're good. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, y'all. We're saved. We're saved. The elevator light tried to play with See? Elevator is going down. Oh, you see that? What the fuck happened? I told you. So, it's not allowed, I suppose. You sure you're on the roof? roof yeah. On the roof is our uh, LOA. Yeah. Roof. So you go? Yeah. There's no, they didn't have no, um, no, uh, concierge downstairs. I don't know. I yeah, it's, well, let me see. Maybe I should go to seven and then just walk up. Yeah, honestly, on the, on, yeah. to be safe, I would do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. No problem. Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. I can't make it up. Excuse me, Mr. Sir. I need to. I'm trying to get to the goddamn rooftop. It's the other set. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Which one? That is another set over here. Okay. That's, that's a whole different side of the okay. topic. Okay. Probably need to say that side. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Sir is a gentleman. Thank you. Mr. Sir. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Security Guard, sir. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes, I, I appreciate you too. <laughs> I'm 30 minutes late to my dinner. I'm supposed to be at in the elevator on the plate with me. Yes, I am, always. <laughs> I may be late, but I'm going to look good. <laughs> Let that be the reason. <laughs> Oh, oh, I said, this elevator right okay. here just hit all. Okay, thank you. Know you yeah. The roof. No, we're going to go to the floor. You parked up. Oh, no, I just walked in. Oh, okay. I just walked in. Oh, okay. Wait, you can't. You should rush. Well, I guess you're going to be okay with that. Yeah, it's literally like a two minute walk. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Bye, enjoy. Thank you. Oh, as if I'm not already so late. Like, girl. Look cute though. I'm gonna turn the roof, please. Thank, yeah, thank you. Hi. Um, I'm here for um Casey. Oh yeah, come on, let's go, girl. Please, cause I'm late too. Friends, we trapping off the iPhone. Can't film in here. They're like, no microphones, no flip back viewfinders, none of that. So we trapping off the iPhone for the rest of the night. The vibes are immaculate. Everybody looks so pretty. I'm so proud of my girl. It's giving CEO. Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Right. So people can get to know that you know we're coming soon. And yeah. 
actually left my phone at the what's the name at the dinner and i had a great time at dinner obviously but i left my phone at the dinner but you know what i'm feeling like honestly this is giving like a little invisimat moment like let's see what we can do okay fenty beauty and invisimats let's see what we can do Right here. Mm -hmm. It's getting very oily, very greasy. It's done for. The side of my nose is so greasy. done. I didn't even look in the mirror. I think I'm going to take my makeup off. For sure. I'm going to take my makeup off. I just feel better without it. I don't know why. I miss my Shinka bug. I miss my Jesse beer. Oh, now my Puda man. I miss him so much. I want to give him a kiss. Hey, friends. Oh, hi. So I changed my clothes into a cute little, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go tell these folks good night. <laughs> See, it's, it was giving after party at first, but now it's giving. I'm going to sleep, okay? Hi guys. Hi there, how are you? Good. I want to go to seventh floor too. What are you filming today? I am vlogging. Oh, you're vlogging? For my YouTube channel. Oh, very cool. Yes. How many subscribers do you have? 580,000. 580, That's what's up. Appreciate you, man. Dog. You first. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going to figure it out though. Y'all have a good night. You too. Take care. 7-11. Okay, this one. Okay, this way. All right. Oh! Hey, friends. Oh, I had to get cozy. I almost fell asleep. This is beautiful. Wait a minute. Hold on. They give me some coffee, y'all. Ignore me. This is beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. 
Tequila, but look, you look very little bit. Okay. I'm drunk. Well, how many drinks? Um, I'm ready to go to sleep. Wait, you want 818? I don't know. Where is 818? I don't know what it is. Um, and then I met KC through social media. Social media? Where are you from? Yeah. Um, I'm from Silicaga, so Bama. Really, really, really small city is. Take it. I'm gonna be right here while you take it. Go ahead. Whole shot. Let's do it. Her. Take it to the head. Take it to the head. Y'all know how I draw. Y'all, I'm drunk, Take it to the head. 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 Do I get a chase or something? No, you don't. Oh my lord. I need some lemonade afterwards. I don't drink lemonade. It's yellow. You want some strawberry lemonade? I don't really drink. It's pink. You want orange juice? I think I would learn about that too. I need some orange juice. Okay, y'all. 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 Okay,
Spicy chicken sandwich. What you feel about the chicken? Where you from? Virginia. Oh, I ain't that. Yes, I am. Stop playing with me. You from Virginia? What's up, my son? Welcome back. Go for general, we in there. Just enjoy that. Whoa, yeah, man. What's going on way down here? My mama, she started uh, doing general management stuff at clubs, Westside Pool Pass, Lego Club. Y'all, what it is? You eat y'all. What is that? Don't Tell do me that. what it is. You don't know what y'all eat. What the hell is that? It's the noodles with the ketchup. Oh, yeah, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> See? <laughs> What's your favorite thing on this menu? Uh, depend I grew up off, you know, French toast pancakes and stuff like that. Grandma. But. So you like. If you like like sandwich, if you want something like, like sandwich and fries, like I'm seven po' boy is really good. <laughs> <laughs> my, my aunties, my grandma, was they raised off that time. Man, I live in Hampton now. I'm, I'm from Norfolk, but I live in Hampton. Uh, so yeah. I guess you're in the, you know, you in the blues part of that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. no. Because them rough parts get rough. Who do y'all stomach? Okay, I'm going to get the spicy chicken sandwich. You want to do spicy chicken? I didn't show y'all my food, but... I did it something sweet, okay? I had a spicy chicken sandwich, and this is just gonna do what I needed to do. Ooh, it smells delicious. Mm. 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 Just checking my bag. I really love these, like, pre-check bag things, like the little bag tags. I really love my hair, too, like this. Um... I got a little long for my flight, so I think I'm just gonna edit the vlog, even though I am so tired. I drank way too much last night. And I can't even tell you what I was drinking, child. I was just gone. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just gonna chill out in the airport for a minute until my flight and um, edit this birthday vlog. So, hopefully, I can get it up on Monday. Like, baby, it's giving that up. So, there was an earlier flight. So, I'm on standby for this flight. But if I don't get on this flight, then I'm gonna have to wait for my other flight. It's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. If I get on this flight, I get on this flight. But if I have to wait for my other flight, that doesn't, I'm not upset with that either. Because I didn't get this first class ticket for no reason, so I'm not gonna be mad if I have to wait. <laughs> like, Norfolk is not going nowhere, okay? Um, but yeah, this flight's for now, so we'll see what ends up happening. I'm really tired, y'all. I didn't take no medicine today. I'm depleted, empty, done for. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. And it's time, no drugs, and the time change. I'm feeling jumped. I need a bed and my baby. I miss my baby. Y'all, my Uber driver is making me a falafel sandwich. Did you make one driver like Wally? No, I've never met a, I've never met a driver like Wally. <laughs> wow. This is beta bread. Peter Pratt. Put falafel. Put falafel. Put falafel. F A. Okay. F A. L. A. F E L. Falafel. -E. Falafel. Falafel. This is you will eat. Okay. Oh wow. And this is uh, you don't know tahini. No, I'm this is This is sesame liquid tahini. Okay. Sesame liquid Ooh, with green salad. Delicious. This is the falafel. Okay. Yeah, this is the knife. <laughs> do you do this for all of your customers? No, no. <laughs> Woman, really, I bring it to my friend oh. in the airport. This is the falafel, see? Oh, wow. Oh, you chop it up like that? Yeah. You can take your time, Mr. Wally. I can't make it ready because it's uh, syrup and it will be here uh, water. Okay. Should eat immediate. Okay, immediate. Yes. Okay. And do I um do I warm it up or something? Uh, I will do it. Don't worry. You gonna warm it up too? No, no. What What do you mean? Like, do you make it hot, or do you eat no, it? No, no. Hot. hot uh, before I do it, you have to make it in the microwave. Okay. But now. We don't have microwave. No, no, no problem. You can eat, but more tasty if it's hot. Okay. Well, I have a bite and then I'll warm it up at, in the house. Oh, you can eat it in the house with the tea or uh, soda. Okay. I like tea. Yes. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. It's delicious. <laughs> you want to make what to make? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I buy it dry uh -huh. and added water and keep it one hour in the fridge. Okay. After this, I make hot uh, oil. 
mm-hmm. corn oil. Uh-huh. <laughs> corn oil, and then uh, then I uh, what do you call fried? Okay. Fried. I I have special uh, spoon mm-hmm. to make it like this circle. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, Monday. I hope that you will like it. I hope so Because too. this is not available everywhere. No, it's not. It's authentic. I love authentic stuff. No, oh, you will carry your. You no, know, I will give you. I will give you this. I hope that you are interested. I, I will enjoy it. it so much. I will take you there. I'll get the Okay, I'll okay, go. okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to try some waffle. <laughs> like, we just had the most amazing conversation. I can't wait to tell y'all. I think I, I hope my nanny is in the house. I'm just going to show him a picture of Jax, too. Take your sandwich. Thank you. So excited. Hold it good not to, to, to be open because it will go out. Okay. Try this one and tell me what's this. Okay. Stick. Remove the, the stick. Okay. This is the stick here. What is it? Stick. This one. This. Oh, oh, okay. What this is, is this? This is with. Okay. You eat and you tell me what's this. Okay. Trust me, please. Okay, I will. <laughs> You waste my time. I have to go back to the airport. Oh, this is delicious. Is this um fig? What? Fig. Yes, dry fig. Yes. This is available in BJ. There is BJ here. Yes. It's available. It's a uh, one kilo, twelve dollar. Yes, it's a fig. Yes. Delicious. This is very, very healthy. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. You are uh, you was thinking, oh, it's a wrong trip to my home. Have a normal trip but, and it's not normal. No, you don't feel it. Huh? <laughs> no, it's not normal. <laughs> hey, he probably don't even care. I'm here. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Hey. 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 Oh. Hey. I just had the sweetest Uber driver of my whole entire life. Like, girl. First of all, he opened up the trunk and made me a falafel sandwich, okay? And I'm about to warm this bad boy up and put it in the microwave and warm it up. Also, Shawnee gave me some figs. And I've never had figs like this, but he gave me some figs. Uh, Jax, you wanna taste this? It's a fig. It's, no? Can you be careful? Yes, it's a wall right there. <laughs> He was literally like a blessing. Like that man, I've never had an Uber drive, a Uber, a Uber experience like how I just did. And he was such a blessing. Like we just started talking, and you know he was asking me about like, um, you know, the guy I'm dating. He was asking about like trying to. He was telling me first of all, he was like, um, he asked me if I ever had this sandwich, and I was like, no. He asked me if I ever had the sandwich, and I was like, no. And he was like, check my license plate. And his license plate said, Jerusalem. And I was like, oh my God, that's where you're from. He's from Jerusalem. I've never met anybody from Jerusalem. Like, how is he? He's like, nice, very holy. And then he started teaching, like telling me, like you could just tell he's a very wise man. Like he started telling me about like, um, the constructs of family and you know how important it is to honor your mother and your father and how, you know, my son is the first thing that comes in my life. I like to remember to always make my son a priority and things like that and like we just had a really good com- conversation and we were talking about I was giving him some insight on how you know my culture just really pushed that like strong black independent woman and um a lot of a lot of women in my culture don't aren't necessarily taught femininity we're taught to be masculine we're taught to not trust men and um a lot of women don't know how to a lot of women um, and my culture don't know how to actually have a man and let a man be a man and let a man lead. And I was teaching him that and he was, I mean, I was telling him that and he was telling me how like, you know, it's important to like keep yourself up for your man and you know, like keep yourself up. I mean, it's about family constructs and things like that. Mm-hmm, well, that's good bread. Mm. I'm very grateful I met Mr. Wally. Very grateful. My, she's like, uh, 
um, just tell us the amount and we'll write that check for you. You're closed. We're going to put you in clothes. And so at that point, that's when I'm going, that's a lie. How do you still have this? And how did you switch sweaters like that? Right here. Is that what's in your box? You are in a fraternity. You know, try it. It's good. It's safe. The bottle. Yes. I'm very much sure. Steak or Alfredo or it's like some kind of pasta. Like Seven bucks. Am I Yes. Give my Thank you. You get bored. I'm a best friend, yeah? That's the one I'll be telling you about. I'm on the phone. Hey. She said, hey. Why your voice did for her? <laughs> No, she needs to get, you need to get your voice deep for me, not for her. Oh, look. I'm finna eat my food, y'all. It looks delicious. Let me show y'all what I got. Oh, I got crawfish for the first time. I forgot I got crawfish. I got crawfish, sausage, lots of tail, um, crab legs, and clams. This is a real seafood boil, and I'm finna get all the way into it. Y'all, it is 12 o'clock in the morning. And I'm tired. Jax just ditched me so bad. He was like, no, I don't want to go to bed. So he went into his room and he's playing with his trains. And that's fine. I was actually um, trying to free up some storage on my phone because I've used 511 of the 512 gigabytes that are on my phone. So that's what we're doing, freeing up some storage. I'm just putting some pictures, some pictures on Dropbox. And I think I'm realizing that I'm a memory hoarder. Like, I don't want to delete it. Like, you know. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, like, deleting the pictures of me and my ex. But, like, you know. I want my, ba my baby's going to have questions for me when he gets older. So, I'm like, I'll just put them away. There's, like, no hate or animosity or anything like that. So, but, like, nigga, you is taking up space on my phone. So, like, pff, you got to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I need to be able to take pictures with the new one. You know? Anyway. I have a Denver ship, y'all. <laughs> I got $50 for him. That's what I got. So all he's charging you for is the, the low beat. Yep. yep. All right, sweetie. So it was $54 after tax. $54 after tax. He's doing a card? Yes. Okay. And the other one is just that you're picking up the car. So we can get you to sign down here. Looks like, did you do a recall for you? Yes. Okay. So we did the recall, which is what this is for. Okay. And then that's it. You're picking up the car. Perfect. So if you get, I don't know if you've gotten the notification in the mail yet, but if you get something saying that you've got a recall for water entry in the wheel well area, then that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, yes, cool. ma'am. And it's written right there on the receipt for you okay. too at no charge, just in case you have any questions. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ray went to go get it. So give him a few minutes and he's coming to meet you right out front. Like, thank you. You're welcome. Have, have a good, good afternoon. Way. I hope break can start it. The battery bad. We back in a whip, baby. My Uber driver this morning was like, I'm not supposed to do this, but you are just so beautiful. Like, thank you. Appreciate you. I don't know what it is about men hitting on me and stuff, but don't hit on me if you're not gonna do nothing for me. Like, you already, I give it, I've given you the opportunity to, you know, step, right? I'm in a situation where I need something. I've given you the opportunity to that, right? Like my service advisor, for example. He said he went and got a haircut. What you get a haircut for, bro? For, what you get a haircut for, bro? You send me back a $5,000 estimate. What did you get a haircut for? Like, with, five, with a $5,000 estimate, I don't give a damn if Jesus Christ cut your hair, okay? What the fuck they got to do with me? What do your haircut got to do with me in this $5,000 estimate you see me because see the math ain't mathing you feel me the math is not mathing let's make it make sense anyway I'm definitely going to end this vlog here this morning because it's Monday morning I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit after I get my matcha but I just want to say that I was so moved by that man last night that uber driver that I had last night I was so moved by him right that I ate germs he made that damn falafel sandwich out of his trunk with that glove that he had on since he picked me up and that bare hand and i ate it i trusted mr wally and i trusted his germs and i watched him lick his thumb and i watched him get the newspaper and, ah! 
I ate it. I ate the falafel sandwich and I was very grateful that Mr. Wiley fed me the falafel sandwich. He was a very, very nice old man. Very. You know what else, y'all? It's so strange. Like, I've healed so many of my daddy issues through this guy that I'm dating because, like, I actually respect this man that I'm dating. And so, like, I, I respect men now. Like, before, I could not respect men at all. I really had an issue with respecting men and I just couldn't but now I do now I do I don't know it just kind of changed my whole perspective like I don't know I just really I never had a reason to trust a man like anything that he was telling me was a lie or it was manipulation or you know what I'm saying like I just had this fear of getting hurt but like you know I wouldn't hear him out for two seconds you know what I'm saying couple couple years ago shut the fuck up but now it's like you know what you're talking about i like now that i've stepped fully into my feminine energy not even say fully i'm just gonna say like you know started it that i can tell the difference between you know a divine masculine and a cap ass nigga there's no in between okay you got a divine masculine and you got cap ass niggas and that's it that's it it's only two types of niggas in this world and them the types one is a man and one is a cap ass mother that's it. Cause either you real or you fake. You know what I'm saying? Go home and edit this video. It's cold and gloomy outside. Like I'm finna go home, make some hot tea, some hot chocolate, some hot something, and just get very cozy because it is so cold outside. I gotta call my home girl. <laughs> Y'all, I called Chelsea this morning, right? And I'm like, what you doing? She like, girl, on a dummy mission. I'm like, what? She like, first, I dropped the kids off at school. It's no school today. I'm like, damn. She said, yeah, and then my package got delivered to my old address. So I'm out here sitting outside these people's houses waiting for my package. And then I got on Instagram. And she chasing the human hair truck. <laughs> She chasing the mailman. Like, girl, like, if that's not the funniest shit. <laughs> that was hilarious, okay? That's funny. Good morning. We are reporting live from the Starbucks line. I'm gonna stop spending money on this bullshit. I, I, I promise you I am one of these days I am. But for right now, I need me a mantra to swallow these Addy Rolls and that's what we gotta do. Um, so just a little mini update. Um, so I went to go get my car fixed by my brother. He fixed it for me at his shop. And, uh, instead of paying $600 for a battery, that's all it was. It was my battery. It wasn't any of that bullshit I was talking about. I irritate myself. It wasn't any of that bullshit I was talking about. It was definitely just my battery. And so he replaced it for $200 versus the dealership trying to charge $600. There is one thing. So I went and told my brother, I said, you know, I told him I dropped it off to him. He was like, oh, well, didn't your daddy used to do your brakes? And I was like, he did them once. Well, he going to do them again. That's your mechanic. So you need to call him. You need to, call your, you need to go see your father. Like, bro, what the f like, so now he's trying to force me, I guess, to see my father by asking, by making me go get my brakes changed by him. Um, I don't, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. But I told him, he told me that he told him and things like that. And he still has yet to reach out to me. So I'm like, if he wanted to speak to me, if he wanted to talk to me, like he would have done that. And... Uh, that's just that like I'm just I told y'all I'm not into forcing people to do things that like they clearly don't want to do so hello um uh, can I just have a venti iced matcha latte yes um with oat milk and two pumps of brown sugar and two scoops of vanilla bean powder no that'll be it thank you so much so yeah i just feel like if you don't know saying you wanted to talk to me and things like that then you would have been reached out he did reach out to me on my birthday and wish me happy birthday which i responded thank you love you too you know which is that like i'm not mad with him i'm not mad with him like you know i don't think my brother understands that like you making me go all the way out my way when you could have just did it like bro you do brakes and tires at your shop like that's what you really specialize in so it was low-key petty of my brother he said he was minding his business which a lot of techniques has determined that's a lie um but it just is what it is so we'll see how that all folds out and things like that um 
we'll just we just gonna have to wait and see if he hits me up if i gotta hit him up i don't know how this is gonna go it's probably be kind of awkward like if i gotta go to this man's house like it is just a mess but um i'm gonna get these brakes fixed one way or another let's get this matcha let's take these drugs and let's go home and let's edit this video i'm not dealing with nothing today like Work is kind of stressing me out, and I'm just trying to not just stress it out. But it's ready, I'm ready to cuss around this. Bitch. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you. Draw today. Yes, please. Absolutely. Here is that for you. Thank you. And then here we go. Enjoy your day. Thank you. I hate when they get me like this. Like, what's this little lip right here? What's this little? And then you already put ice in it, so. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna go home, edit this video, get this video to y'all for y'all today. Hopefully, which I've come to the conclusion that I may be slightly overproducing my vlogs. Now, I know we all love the way I edit my vlogs, and I do too, right? But you know what the girls also love? The girls also love consistency. And I just feel like because I edit my vlogs the way I do, they take, like, my birthday vlog took three days to edit. And, uh, you know, I just be trying to figure out how the girls be getting these videos up back to back to back to back to back. And come to find out, they're just kind of placing the clips together. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I never watched anybody else's vlogs, but I decided to, ah, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Oh my God, my phone fell. I decided to recently, and so what I decided was, I'm not going to change the way I do anything. I'm just going to balance it out a little bit because I have a lot of cinematic moments and a lot of B-rolls and things like that, um, but I don't have enough dialogue. I don't just get on here and chat with y'all enough, So, but also I can't do small talk, so just not too much, you feel me? Um, but yeah, so we'll see how this vlog goes, you know, as far as like editing more so like you know just kind of letting the raw footage be the raw footage um and we'll see as long as it's not too long-winded it should be fine there is three hours worth of footage on this vlog though i i did i did it yesterday it's three whole hours so Let's see if i can lock in without tweaking up <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and close the vlog out right here because i feel like my camera better fly off the dashboard so i will see you guys in my next video my next vlog thank you so